Whew. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and um, well, I'm outside, and today we're checking out the best bikes and e-scooters for the summer. And we've partnered with Best Buy in this video so we can show you some of the really cool devices, bikes, e-scooters, plus you can pick up all that you see in this video at bestbuy.com. Now, before we get started, I want to just remind you guys, if you're on bikes or e-scooters, be safe out there. Make sure you ride on bike lanes or you can also ride on the sidewalk if it's possible within your area. And don't forget to wear a helmet. It is very important because you know what, we want you guys safe out there so you can watch more videos on the channel. And if you're joining us for the first time, hit that subscribe button so we can watch, you guys can watch more videos like this. So let's go ahead and check out our very first e-scooter. First, we do have the Okai Neon Pro Foldable Electric Scooter. This is a fun, portable transportation vehicle. I absolutely love it for its form factor and just its practicability. Now, this scooter is probably one of my best on this list because I started using it immediately to go from home to the office and I found it quite easy to use. First off, you've got that uh, one-click foldable system, allows you to just basically fold it down, carry it around so you can jump into public transportation and just easily, easily move it around wherever you need to go. It's also got a 21,700 milliamp battery. It's a Samsung battery built in there that gives you up to a 50 mile range. Plus, if the rider always rides in high mode, which is 20 miles per hour, then that range could be shorter and it's really comfortable riding around on the scooter. Now you've got the LED, of course, bar right in front, the neon bar, which is pretty nice. So that adds, of course, to that front light that you have there on the scooter. Uh, and then on the handlebars itself, the left side of the bar, you've got your brake, you've also got a bell so you can signal people while you're riding, and you've got your accelerator on the right-hand side. In the middle, there's also a color LCD screen that shows you your speed and how fast you're going, plus the different modes of the scooter, which are eco mode and high mode. Plus it's an easy kickstand to of course, rest the scooter whenever you're not using it. I absolutely love this and honestly, my mode of transportation has changed because of this. I used to take a ride share to work or I would drive depending on the time of the day and it would take me between 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes 25 or even more, depends on traffic. While with the scooter, it's been pretty much 25, 27 minutes uh, constantly. So of course, I don't have to spend time driving. I can zoom uh, around the city quite easily. And this is a lot of fun. All right, so this is a pretty cool e-scooter. I use it on a daily basis to go into the office. But you guys are probably wondering where are the bikes? Well, we've got two bikes for you in this video. So let's go ahead and check out something that's really cool and pretty awesome to ride. Now this bike, I like to call it the Cruiser, but it's actually called the Swift Fleet e-bike. This is a fun bike to ride around. It feels like you're just cruising from place to place. Feels very comfortable, also has some really cool styling. You've got, of course, the white frame, you know, brown seats that are adjustable, they're very comfortable to sit on. Very nice, very nice while riding around this bike. The handlebars are also brown, just, you know, while holding them. So it feels really nice to just ride and cruise on this bike. Now, it's got a ton of features that I do like, but one I do wanna bring up are the versatile tires that work well on road or on sand, like a sandy beach, but in my case, cruising around in the grass in the park. Now you also have uh, a max range of 37.2 miles on a single charge, and which is up to speeds of 19.8 uh, miles per hour, which is really, really nice. Now the bike also comes with a built-in monitor display indicating your battery output, your speeds, and also uh, allows you to switch through the different modes so you can use pedal assist to propel your throttle moving forward. This is a fun bike to ride. It feels very easy going, and if you want something that feels feels just natural and very chill, this is the bike to go with. And honestly, I just like the way it looks and feels. <sighs> wow. The Swift Fleet is a fun bike, but I've got one more bike for you guys and I think you're gonna really like this one.
And finally, we have the Aventon Level 2 Commuter Stepover E-Bike. Now, this is what I'd like to call the big boy of e-bikes. Comes in two different sizes, regular or large, and also in two colors, clay gray or glacial blue. Now, it comes with a ton of features and ton of things just packed into this uh, e-bike. It's a commuter, ultimate rider, comfortable and just easy to use. It's equipped with uh, pre-installed fenders, uh, it's got a sturdy rear rack, so of course you can put stuff in that rack there. And the front suspension fork that gives you a lot of just, you know, uh, nice bounce, especially while riding the bike, this bike. So basically, if you're riding in the city, you will feel really comfortable riding on this bike because of the suspension, taking care of your riding experience and making it comfortable. Now, a feature I definitely like is the, the torque sensor. This is something that's quite unique to this. Seeing how light or hard you're pedaling, the level two sensor is intuitive, meaning you where you're at and matching efforts and giving you total control of your ride, promoting a more natural riding experience and conserving battery life and extending your range. So this bike is very versatile in that factor. It's also got a color display that tracks your battery life, your distance, your pedal assist, and also uh, has different gear levels. You can switch on the bike, which is on the right-hand side. Uh, the accelerator is also on the right-hand side, and it's pretty easy to access those Plus the braking on this bike is really solid. So you're getting a full batch of features on the Aventon Level 2. Now in terms of range, you're looking at a 60 mile range on a single charge, which is quite impressive. Uh, and also in terms of uh, maximum speeds, you can reach up to 20 miles per hour on the bike, but Speaking of throttle, uh, by utilizing the pedal assist, you can achieve up to 28 miles uh, per hour. So that is pretty awesome. Whew, that was a lot of fun. But honestly, Best Buy has a ton of electric bikes and scooters for you to spend more time outside. And if you are interested in any of the bikes and scooters you've seen in this video, use the link in the description below, shop at bestbuy.com so you can find the right ride for you. All right guys, enjoy entertainment and the summer.